Hi guys, so in today's video I am going to attempt to do something I haven't done <laughs> in a while, which is um, soft pestles. I had like uh, in a video, the parrot video, I will link it in the, in the description and maybe on, on, um, on top, I had like two people, Cat Bronwell and Yasmin Ozoyo, I hope I am pronouncing this right, and they both had questions like last week or something, and I thought it was funny that they, they almost uh, came in at the same time. Um, and they're both in the same video, and I thought I could make a video to try and answer these bo uh, these both um, women, girls. Um, so Kat said uh, she bought this set. This is the gallery set uh, of semi-hard pastels, and she would love to see more, like to to have like motivation or inspiration to to try and paint something else. And Yasmin asked, "What's the difference be between these and the soft?" Uh, pestles. What is the difference between the soft pestles? I think it's between that set and soft pestles. Um, so I kind of tried to answer them in here. To Kat, I said, <laughs> we'll, we'll try to make a video. And to Yasmin, I said, like, um, soft pestles are very different in general. So um, they kind of, their te texture really shifts a little from um, from brand to brand like there are these semi-hard from gallery there are soft pastels like uh, unison for instance or um, v mount vision that i also have or i don't know there are a bunch of brands that are kind of off off soft let's say it like that and then there there are Brands that are really buttery, like um, Schmink, and so um, and Sinelier. Sinelier are also really um, buttery too. They are very like they crumble, and I'm going to try to demonstrate that. And then we'll do a little exercise. I thought about doing. I don't know if you can see that. There's the reflection. This little boat here. Oh, thank you. This little boat here, I will link the the photo for your reference in the description box. Uh, seems kind of simple enough. We'll see. I don't. I'm not. I, I haven't used this for a long time, and uh, so it's always a mystery if you can do it again. Uh, at least that's in my head. <laughs> it's always like that. So this is Kenson meetings or whatever it's called. It's horrible. This paper is horrible like when you when you I'll show it to you. <laughs> There's supposed to be the right side of the paper that is this one that has this like comb structure that is horrible for pestle. I don't like it at all. I have um demonstration of a cat's eye. Uh, that went kind of pretty cool because it helped somewhat in the fur to give it texture. It wasn't terrible as I thought it was going to be. I'm gonna link it the, the, cat's, the cat's eye tutorial video too. But I am using the back side of the paper because artists um, like Alan Picard for instance, I was talking to him the other day and talking to him like in, on Instagram. Uh, I don't know him personally. Um, and it was it was like saying, oh, the wrong side is the right side of that paper because the right side is really difficult to work with. So I'm going to use the white one to demonstrate and then I'm going to use um, the light blue 
to do this is exercise, the boot exercise, because the background, I don't know if it translates well in camera, but the background is like a very light blue, and with this blue uh, uh, for paper, whether you can do one of the things like contrast or use uh, a predominant color for paper that is, in, is on the background. So um, that's what I'm going to do today. And let's see how it goes. So first of all, I am going to try and show you the difference between um, soft pastels. I am going to do just like two, uh, three brands, like the Semi Hard Gallery, the Unison that I love. I love the, the Unison pastels and the Schmink. I think these, these are Schmink or Sennelier. I think it's Schmink. It's Schmink. Um, so they're very crumbly, the Schmink one. I tried like three colors and in, um, let me just grab this one from the set because I have picked up the palette for the boat and let's see if we're in camera, we kind of are, if we, if we do things like that. So I'm going to start with a white that you won't probably see a lot and we're gonna have like these are the semi hard, and as you can see, I don't know if you can see, there's a bit of a waste, there's always a waste. You see? There's always waste with pestle. I think this light is even worse than what I'm trying, for what I'm trying to record here. Anyway, then we have like unison, usually you can buy these half sticks that last you a long long time. And this way you can spend a little less money and still and have more colors to your collection. So I love that. See? They also crumble. These even seem to crumble a little more than this one. This is not a pure white, this is a light yellow of some kind, but this is what comes off. Not much actually. And then you use like a schmink. And it's just it's just butter. This is just butter and it <laughs> Do you see how it crumbles everywhere? So focus, focus. Oh my god, this light is killing me. I think I'm going to <laughs> send it somewhere else. Cause it's really see? The difference yeah <laughs> and there's a lot of waste always with pastels never blow to your canvas always tap it down and wipe it off or I have a, a way to I usually do soft pastels in on canvas so they uh, on canvas oh my god on tripods or whatnot um, to make them stand in an angle so the dust can keep following with the gravity action so um, you don't have to like all you have to do is like tap it a little bit and the, the dust will come down mainly if you're using very dark colors on top of um, light colors like dark colors on top and light colors on the bottom on the bottom I, I advise to turn it around and tap it so we're um, gonna try another color, so this is the semi-hard pastels from Gallery. This is a unison pastel. This is gorgeous, I love unison. It seems like there's not much waste and they really cover so well. It's wonderful. Let me just make this a little closer. If you can see it better. And then the schmink. This is insane. These buttery ones are really good for details at the end. Um, I mean, when everything is so saturated, uh, if for, for first layers you want to use uh, a little harder pastel and for uh, later layers or the last one you want to use a very buttery and creamy pastel or not just use what you have but um, they still can 
grab to the other pestles and so you can add details and layers without uh, without a lot of effort because you know, you the see see how, how much dust it comes out yeah pestles are like that the soft pestles so this is the gallery this is unison and the colors aren't exactly the same so there's a different there difference there but this is schmink is like it f even in my in my fingers when I grab the schmink it just gets all over the place. Um, so, see what I what what I told you that could happen. The dark colors, if you pass over the the light colors, it's very dangerous when your piece is done, and when you don't want anything to be. Of course, if you if you tap it a little bit more, but see the red is so intense that is going to um, give you like a trail. So, this is it, I hope it helps you somehow to see, uh, you can do great work with all them, so if you're, if you're just wondering which set you should buy, I would start with a, a cheaper one, to I made a stock of it when I was starting uh, every, everywhere. I, everywhere I saw a promotion or something about this, I would, of this paper, I would buy it. And then I found pastel mat. <laughs> so, pastel mat is this kind of paper. I'll link it, although I didn't use it, but this is awesome. This is like brutal. This is the thing. And it comes in these blocks with this paper. So it doesn't smudge if you want to use it here, but I don't. But then to keep your paintings safe, like... That's another video. Uh, so you see there's four colors here and then there's a pack, like I have... The orange pack or whatever. They don't even have names. So there's these colors and then there's the blue one and then... There's, there's a bunch. And they are awesome. And also there's another paper I love. Um, so it's very cool that set. They they send a little, like this, little piece of paper so you can try it out. It's pastel card, la carte pastel, pastel, and I made this little exercise. And this is phenomenal paper. This is phenomenal. It just grabs so much. The color is like really dark. I don't know if there's more colors. I think it's more expensive a little bit, but. Now I'm talking about paper and that no one asked me <laughs> for that information. So um, I'm going to show you the palettes I kind of picked up. I cannot tell you, I took it off the um, packaging and I cannot tell you right now what colors are what, but uh, I brought some blues. I don't even know if I'm going to use them all. I got some a selection of a selection. I don't even know if it's a, it's a selection or it's if it's the more uh, darker and a lighter red. And I got this bright orange just to see, <laughs> and this dark orange, then this kind of hawker like light hawker, yellow hawker. This is darker and this one that is very light yellow for the shadows in the water. Then I got this like... I don't even know if this is... This is not the same thing. This is from these. It's a hard pastel from Lira. It's to draw it. Whatever. But this is from... It's a bunch of greys and the black for the... For the boats and and some shadows in the water and I am going to try and draw with this one which is a Lyra Heart Pastel 101 this is number 101 I think this was Lyra too but it, there's nothing in it I don't know so this is what I'm going to use and let's start 
door. Okay. So let's see if we're in camera. And I will start drawing. I should probably do it like this. Oh, I don't have to. It's a boat. It's a boat. Okay, let's see if I can draw a boat. Oh my god. So these would be like the the little part. And I am standing to see if I'm on camera, so it's, it's not the perfect. Uh, yes, I'm just making excuses because I can't draw. So let's go ahead and do these, and then there's this little point here of the boat, and then it comes around something like this. If this is going to be the bigger part, this would be going this side, something like that. And we are going to come here, and this is going to come here. And then I have like a little red thingy. <laughs> red thingy is good. Coming off, and then. Something like this, it's not going to be perfect, it's just a little exercise and you can draw better than me and <laughs> just gonna do it so much quicker. So this is not supposed to be here, but then you, you include that on your... Yeah, like a little blue part here, like something like this, and then, okay, it's supposed to be your boat. <laughs> There's a, a real mess in here, but I'm not gonna clean it up, and I'm gonna, I'm not going to. Um, yeah, you you should start with the light color, and you should maybe even lighter than this, and you should like uh, make it like um, really, really gently. And then you can like start and try to make some of the shadows. So indicate where the shadow would be because I will make it like this. It's, I'm not gonna just copy the thing. <laughs> I'm just gonna give it some vibe. I don't think I've ever painted the boats on camera before. It's a first. You don't even have to make so much detail. There's a rope here that tangles to here but I don't know. Just do your thing. Don't be very restricted so it looks like a boat so we're gonna continue <laughs> continue okay so I'm gonna drag these guys here so they're closer to me we might start with uh, white I don't know why not right just gonna use gallery on this uh, experience okay so I'm gonna link it below and it's gonna be a problem to take this off here uh, no problem. I'm gonna show it and then you can do it better. <laughs> okay. So all you have to do and there's one thing that I, I don't think this paper is very good at grabbing the um, the pestle. I'm having a little hard time doing that on this right wrong side. It doesn't matter, it's just an exercise why right? just keep your hands loose and there's a, a whiteness just then look at the photo and try to understand where where the colors are basically that's it and just I mean you're not trying to copy every single thing here so and don't leave pastels on your work <laughs> that's very unprofessional that's why I have this like this little set but it doesn't mean anything apparently <laughs> okay this is not the right brown i'm just gonna try to use it well it's the right brown for here because it's very dark it's it's not even the right one because it's not dark enough so we may be, we may be uh, adding and you don't you don't have to use the perfect colors or the precise colors all you have to do is like 
this is the here's a darker brown and then use a lighter brown <laughs> on another part I don't have a lighter brown here I thought this was it but I have come to realize it's not and it's not even lighter so we're gonna have to um, trick it and just have a little of the yellow and then you see a bit of yellow here and there's going to be sometimes I do these when I have the pestle in my hand I kind of put yellow wherever I see it you know maybe I shouldn't have drawn this these shadows but then I'm gonna have some See, it's not really the, um, the colors that, that are there, but you don't have to be very precise as long as you keep the contrasts. Because once again, I'm saying that uh, contrasts are like basically everything in a painting. So, so this this kind of brown becomes like a reddish brown so even if you don't have the colors you don't have to not paint something because you don't have those colors just do it with other colors or a mix of them you know that's very freeing <laughs> so this is very dark here because it's the inside of the boats and then there's darkness here until there's this sunny part we're going to put I sort of should have gotten another I don't think this is contrasting enough I might just use a little bit of black that everybody hates or <laughs> something like that. These are really good pestles because they are square. They are squares and because they are squares they let you make details much easier than for instance Sennelier or, or Unison. So. Although, I like them for less, it's just like a dot or something, it's in Lie, I mean, just for a dot or something, it doesn't even mean, so, okay, starting to look like a boat at least, and at least for me, let's just make this dark here, because it's the inside and it's not on shadow, on shadow, on light, Okay, then we're going to use like the... When you use a really dark color and your fingers get really dark, just... Not this one, this one. Just have like a, a wet towel or... Um, this is a baby wipe, because it was right, it was right here. And, and then dry them on a, a dry paper so you can grab another one. See, it's absolutely clean, uh, so you don't contaminate. The, the pestles while, while we go um, so this is pretty red I'm gonna do, do the very light red on this okay and I'm gonna leave some some of the Very 
we're gonna go and grab a little orange here. Cause I kinda see orange in this red, I don't know. Okay. I'm going to go with the, with the blue one. No, I don't even think we have that blue of the seats, but this is a very intense blue and I think it's gonna make it for me. <laughs> now make it for you. And I just might have some hints. And I'm not gonna like leave uh, uh, cover everything blue because then I wanna. Not that I can't lay this over, but um, I like to have some pops of white because the the balls is not like absolutely um, just one color it's, it's a bit now I'm going I'm going to take both oh shit <laughs> sorry I did what I what I said I didn't I shouldn't do is drag the I did just that <laughs> of course I did just that okay Let's try and I think it's becoming too light and I want it to be darker. This little boat must be darker. Yeah, not with these colors, with grey. Because this is on shadow, you know. Um, we have a little bit of, I don't know what's here. And then we have like this, this part here is also in shadow. And we have like a hint of, um, you know, those, this is wood, so. And I just blew on my job, so. Uh -huh. Yeah, everything you shouldn't do. So, and you might need, you might, you might need a little of. Um, oh, since I am having like this, really, I am going to. Let's put it here, and it must be darker, so it's not going to be exactly like this, but no. And we need like this deep breath, this is not a deep breath, this is the deep breath, to help here in the shadow of the boat, it should be darker, and we're going to try to fix that. Try to never drag your hand through the piece, because it will ruin it, <laughs> obviously. And this is looking disgusting to me right now, so I hope this is just like that ugly face. Although I think it's going to be like this forever. So let's go here and just have some of the Oh my god, this is horrible. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna keep going until I give up. 
And that isn't, we haven't reached that point yet. No. Uh, maybe soon, but uh, not yet. It's the colors, yes. If I if I wasn't just using, because then when you have more colors, you can obviously uh, do more. Um, have more colors to work with, and that's 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 good. That's good because you can uh, try to reach. Because um, I'm seeing a lot of yellows, and I, I don't have it for the <laughs> for the the shadows in the water. So it's like a degradé, and I can't make it because oh, my yellows. Okay, it doesn't matter. I need to define something, which is like this. The, the, the bottom of the pose is becoming very mixed with this and see how I can make a really fine line with the this is really cool this is not lined here but I just wanted to give it more um, a more refined edge sometimes that's all you need Then just you can also just try to ignore a little your photo and just kind of do things as you feel. to make the water around it because I'll just it's a mess <laughs> one of these days I'll try to make a video where you can see a way to to keep it like much cleaner so with large surfaces, 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 blah. You can just use your pestle laying down, you know, so you can have like more and you can drag it into another so it can change the um, the shadowing <laughs> of the... it's more natural, it's a little smudged but with another pestle so it's not that... you're not smudging, smudging it with your fingers, I have learned that's not a good technique um, well, some people kind of smudge a little on the first layers mainly because, you know, it's the, it's the first layer Mm, it's, there's not much of a problem if you're going to lose a bit of the the, the essence of the pestle the what makes it shine <laughs> so much and they have like this wonderful pigment um, we won't be destroying the pigment and it's going to be very reflective and very intense. Um, I like this a little better now. <laughs> it's a good thing, it's a good thing. So what can I use for that blue? We don't have the blue I want. The background is not... Okay. give a touch of blue here. I don't know, sometimes boats have like... sometimes I think they almost all... well, not all. Um, they have a lot of... Oh, I wanted to try this <laughs> just because I wanted to try it and I think it's cool, it gives it a lot of... you know? That, you know? Gives it, it gives a lot of light to it. 
it's a very dirty boat. Not in the picture, but in my, <laughs> my mine is very dirty. It's a dirty boat. Okay, we have a little gray here that might be better for those little waves that we want. We want to have like these like horizontal, horizontal lines to pretend this ocean, sea, sea waves, whatever, and then just go over with a, I don't know if this is going to work at all, because I could try to make like a, a coastline down there. It always looks good. <laughs> I like to, um, to make it more like I don't know. I like that. So I went for it. Just a few lines to make it look like you're. I don't even know if this is looking to... So I'm not going to be as detailed as on the photo and I need some blue here because this is not supposed to be but of course I used the same size so it was absolutely yeah I wanted a, a real vibrant like this one. See, it's so cool for reflections. That's what I wanted to try. I really wanted to try that. Now I'm going to make it a little less vibrant with this yellow. But that, as you can see, it's not grabbing anymore. So this paper is definitely not the best. But it's okay. We're just making an exercise, right, guys? <laughs> Let's go for the white. Add more white because this boat is really white here. Here I am using the white light to to make it to make the gray like don't use your fingers to blend but use another pastel to blend that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, oh, I was going <laughs> to reach out for schming. I'm just going to show you this. See, if you use a gallery, you wouldn't do that. I don't think. Let's try it out. See the difference. See how buttery one and another is. See how this you can do anything from now on, and here you can absolutely do details of light with this guy. See, <laughs> look at this. Look at this. I was just scratching and scratching. Look at this guy. Look at this guy go. Oh my God, he's just absolutely stunning. This is the schmink one so it's insane what you can do with them it is really so i have like this really and there's one thing you can do is like 
you have this this set this um, gallery set and then what you can do is like buy there's a, this schmink one I, I haven't bought any any more of these because um, the set I bought was like a tri set that is pretty affordable um, it is really pretty affordable and you get like the the primary colors like a black what <laughs> get a white a green a yellow a blue and a red I think that's it a white I don't think you you get black in there and uh, what you do if you use that it's like it's enough for the, the less details like the white you have the white and the red and some greens uh, so um, that would be uh, a good thing like to have a, a set like you have the the gallery set and then have that testing set that lasts a long time uh, with a very buttery one so it's very cheap uh, comparing to uh, an old collection and um, not an old collection <laughs> old set of anything uh, and then you get oh, there's a very a much darker shadow here I'm just looking at it and, it's, and I was just like where's that shadow come on so you can have like this set of um, the semi hard gallery pastels and then have that little testing set of Sennelier what's Sennelier? Schmink. Schmink, Schmink pastels and and you'll see it will help you a lot it will help you a lot and uh, with these little details, these accents of light it's just perfect and all you need is the whites for that uh, if you have more colors of course you can do a lot of things but uh, you know you know what I'm saying because I'm starting to be a little lost here so we needed like a very dark shadow on this side and we need to go for a little more I'm starting to like this a bit more, so I was kind of scared there for a minute because you always think you can do it. <laughs> That's just me, I'm sorry. I always think I can't do it and I always think oh I haven't used this for so long that it's going to be a mess. And it, it's not perfect, I must say. I don't think it's perfect. Oh, my battery died on me. Of course. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I took a picture of it. I always do that to like see it from a distance. And it's not too bad. Some people might think this is messy. I kind of like it like that. But I don't like it. I kind of like how the ocean is. I might add some white. I thought it was, this was too light, although it's comes and picks up like these blues but I, I think I want to make it darker and I want this to be more vibrant because this is vibrant now or I'll, I'll make this softer or this vibrant or both <laughs> maybe a little bit of both you know then you just start looking at it seeing what's happening and trying to get where you want it's as simple as that. It's like, do I need more here? So I'll, and then you don't have to like to follow. See, this is not going to get me anywhere anymore. Only if I kind of scrape what's underneath. Because the paper is saturated by now. That's why usually we use a light hand in the beginning and then start so we can so you can have more layers but this paper yeah it's not the best paper ever and I'm gonna give it a hint of these colors in the sky or 
whatever this is because I like it <laughs> just because just because I like it okay I'm gonna need a little of the reflection of that it's not going well <laughs> and there's one thing you can do when you want to scrape it off or whatnot with a with a dry brush just try to brush it off try not to brush it to lighter areas of the work because if you do that well, I'm going to try because here there's not much detail yet there's a lot of this is just to make it look more like an ocean I don't know about these little <laughs> crazy waves or whatever I did here so see the difference between the schmink and the gallery because the schmink is so much softer it gives you like a much vibrant appearance on the paper that is great I think this is very like oh sorry I just I don't know why I've been so worried about bringing the reds here because I'm I was trying to follow the uh, the photo reference but if you do it kind of your your way kind of you know bring something too it's different from the photo reference and you can see, can understand it's water you know just some I don't like it that much in this part but in this reflection looks so good and there's another another trick for making reflections there's like um, if you drag it down let's do it here let me kind of zoom in for you if you drag it down, let's take off this axis. So like you're going I'm going to use like a, a dark color, maybe this gray. This would be the base of this thing. And if you drag it down, there's somewhat it's kind of the reflection of that line there and the further away because I'm, I'm doing this like this the further the further away the smaller it is the um, the shadow <laughs> that would be the shadow see and just kind of make it like I'm not even dragging I'm just doing this because this is supposed to be black just don't make it come to the not supposed to be on top of this guy this is you know and you can add definition to the background as you want not much because it's not the central part of the thing. You can make it like abstract, you can do so much, just experiment because that's really I mean in the first video I said like now this looks like trees now. See it's it's just I am just grabbing um <laughs> a black pastel and I'm doing things on the on an almost final piece maybe that's why I used Kenson paper for this one because I mean it just makes you so free like to do whatever you want it makes you so much freer and I, I like this interest on the background it's not too much but it adds it adds to the piece at my point in my in my eye in my eyes so let's just see what did I want it to do? Because this part, I need to take a photo. <laughs> That's what I need to do. Oh, we can add like um, 
a little white here so it, it is not I'm try to to make these different strokes so it it doesn't look all the same and it doesn't really matter that at this point at this point no on this exercise and on this stage that it grabs a little bit of other colors I don't mind it it adds some texture to the sky I don't know you can always grab grab the, the other yellow again and make it like darker on the bottom part I think the sunset was kind of going the sunset's going down no the sun is going down there's a kind of a, a sunset going on just a vibe man <laughs> don't have to do it all around because then it looks like fire so you can go again with this one and break it now all you have to do is keep <laughs> looking at the camera taking photos or looking it through a mirror some people do that I don't I don't know that technique for me it doesn't work um, and now I like this blue like it is but I can try to darken it and I like that the dark part is here it looks like a, a nice winter thing <laughs> I don't know as you can see oh shit I went over the boat and I didn't as you can see this has nothing to do with this this looks like a spring summer thingy right this looks like a winter scene with a very dirty boat <laughs> dirty old boat so this is it this is what I accomplished today I hope I got you some inspiration and <laughs> some ideas of what you can do with your brand new uh, set cat and I hope Yasmin that I've shown you in the beginning and during the exercise the, um, the difference between uh, soft pastels hardness um, and that you should use maybe the, um, the harder soft pastels first and leave the buttery ones for later because they make wonderful highlights so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching bye bye hi guys me again so this was it this was the video I hope you enjoyed it if you did and if you got some value out of it please give me the thumbs up uh, subscribe share um, that would mean a lot and Give me your feedback because that's really important for my this channel growth um, all the links are usually in the description below if you need any other information please um, contact me my contacts are also in the description or just comment this video because comments are allowed it and I have an Etsy shop if you want to check it out. It's under the amateur point and the link is also in the description. Uh, I have all my contacts and social media in the description if you want to uh, reach out to me. I even have an address <laughs> in your box. So um, that was it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. And... Bye-bye. <laughs>